Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to Colossal Cave Overview. For some reason, this thing like releases in multiple places at once, and it's very hard to grasp what it actually is or the gameplay at all. Clearly, I'm too young to understand it because it's something like reimagined from the 70s or something. Something that was like a text to read, and now it's like a visual project. We'll see how it's gonna go. I mean, nowadays anything adventure is fine for me. It's just not clear what's going on overall. So Colossal Cave is an adventure action game where you'll be deep diving in a mysterious underground world filled with great landscapes and hidden treasures, encounter a bunch of creatures living there and uncover the great mystery of this cave. Again, like even from this description, I didn't even know what's the game. Is it a free for all exploration? Do we just walk around and find some stuff? Like I literally see zero action going on and I can't even guess what's the gameplay gonna be like. Maybe spell casting or just some medieval stuff? It's like I would have to know beforehand what this game was about 40 years ago and based on that I would be probably not as confused but you're also reintroducing this for the younger public and people that had no idea about this franchise at all. Visually this should be very good for Quest like nothing really heavy for the platform. It also kind of reminds me of the Shadow Gate that released before. This kind of narration based gameplay so I don't know we have to just go into it and figure it out ourselves. Let's go into the cave! <laughs> what an ominous welcome. Oh, there are no settings even. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Somewhere nearby is Colossal Cave, where others have found fortunes and treasure and gold. It is rumored that... Take heed that... There are other ways to determine... That is a lot to read and I can't waste my time for the overview. I know I should, but whatever. You are standing at the end of a road before a small brick building. Around you is a forest. A small stream flows out of the building and down a gully. <laughs> so we'll have this narration going on, okay. Will the graphics go trash? Of course. That's it. <laughs> like... It's definitely not 40 bucks of stuff. I can't cross or like even touch the grass. There are visible walls. And the direction you're moving is the controller base. Oh, but here we have settings. Okay, everything should be fine now for my standards. What is this? The door is closed. Ah, oh, this is like a point and click thing. Oh my god, because I'm not used to the controller based movement, this is gonna be weird, like... It's not a standard for me. There was a hand, but what about it? The door is closed. The door is closed. You see a small brick building. You are standing at the end of a road before a small brick building. Around you is a forest. A small stream flows out of the building and down a gully. I can't move properly. Oh wow. That is pretty big. Hmm. A large owl seems to be watching you. Ew. The grate is locked. Okay. You're in a 20-foot depression floored with bare dirt. Set into the dirt is a strong steel grate mounted in concrete. A dry stream bed leads into the depression. I mean, I do like that I can literally click on anything and he will tell me what it is. You're in open forest, near both a valley and a road. I guess that's the 
40 bucks worth of narration. What if we go back from where we spawned? You have walked up a hill, still in the forest. The road slopes back down the other side of the hill. There is a building in the distance. Cool, mate. There's nothing to do with it here. Oh, I need to grab. Like, grab and then there's a function. So weird. There is food here. You are inside a building, a well house for a large spring. Okay. Do we have equipment or something? Uh, oh yeah, action, look, move, use. I see. Well, I know where's the grade, so... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, that's my running. It's gonna be very handy for this video. <laughs> You can't go through a locked steel grate. Yes, I can. But what's the equipment? Set of brass lantern. Set of keys. I don't like those controls. Set of keys. You have unlocked the grate. The grate is unlocked. You are in a small chamber beneath a 3x3 three three steel grate to the surface. A low crawl over cobbles leads inwards to the west. Nothing happens. I don't like the ominosity of it. Is this a horror game? What the hell? It's getting difficult to see in here. Brass lantern. Brass lantern. The lantern is now lit. <laughs> I'm not even holding it. It's creepy. I hear something. Like mining? Oh, I can't go here, okay. Jesus, dude. Black rod. Brat bottle of water. Ah, a bird. The bird was unafraid when you entered, but as you approach, it becomes disturbed. Hey. The bird was unafraid when you entered, but as you approach it becomes disturbed. The little bird the little bird won't let you near it. Black black rod. <laughs> I mean <laughs> that won't brass lantern. At your feet is a small pit breathing traces of mist. A white mist, usually water. Oh, damn. <laughs> this is the different location. And he will repeat the dialogue. Great. <laughs> this game has like optimization issues as well.
Oh. Hey. Am I crazy or this game is crazy? Like, you won't get it up the steps. You could never pull it out, no matter how hard you try. There's nothing to do with it here. Thanks for the gold, though. I guess this is very much. Old school vibe. Oh, Wolf. Watch out. There is a little axe here. What the hell is going on? Just sudden movements and just <laughs> jump scares out of nowhere. I mean... A snake is gonna be here, because I saw in the trailer. You're in the hole of the Mountain King, with passages off in five directions. <laughs> Something's blinking there. Huge green fierce snake miles the way. What the fuck? Um, I hate this game, <laughs> and I don't see myself playing it. There's nothing going on, and I guess that's how it used to be. So I'm very glad. It's not anymore. <laughs> you can clearly see it's a VR port of like, you know, this thing that released multiple platforms at once. It is overpriced, of course, like for the amount of stuff you get for nowadays standards. No. It's also like Brass, point dwarf, and click stuff. Like gold, this is not VRized at all besides the visuals, like moving and stuff. Maybe I'm not a true adventure hardcore fan <laughs> to really enjoy this. It seems really old school and it's just not for me. Maybe some people will enjoy it, like at least I tried. <laughs>